Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and here we are looking at word processors in Microsoft Word and we look at a non-breaking space and a couple of special hyphens called an M dash and an N dash. So let's dash on in to the demonstration. So here I've got a document and let's focus particularly on this word online video. Do you see that word online video? Now if I press space a couple of times, you'll notice that the next couple of words will move to the next line automatically. And if I carry on going, you'll see that the word video will then move to the next line. Okay, so that's what normally happens. As there's more, as there's not enough space, the word will just shift to the next line. Now what happens if I really want the word online video to stay together? I don't want it to be separated by, for example, on a new line. For that we need what we call a hard space or a non-breaking space. Now to create a non-breaking space, all I have to do is press Control shift and space so i've done that on my keyboard and you see no real difference there but if i press space bar a couple of times you'll notice that now when it gets to when video doesn't fit it'll shift both the word online and video to the next line did you see that so there we go so that's how you can keep words together you don't want them to be separated by a soft enter or on a new line if you want to see what it actually looks like if i come here to home and i show this show hard you'll notice that all my spaces, you'll see there, those little dots, but a non-breaking space, you'll see there is a small little, it's a little circle that goes right to the top. Okay, so this little part, that's about the indexing, which we'll get to in a later video, if you don't know what indexing is. But I want you to focus particularly on that. Do you see there, that is what the symbol is for a non-breaking space if we do the show hard. If I had, for example, a word that was separated by a hyphen, and if I did the same thing, if I put a half in there and I did the same thing, you'll notice that the word video might also go to the next line and then the online dash would stay on this side. If you wanted to make, for example, a non-breaking half and you can do the exact same thing. All you're going to do is you're going to press a control. Let's go click there first. Control, shift and then the half in. And now that I've got a non-breaking half and if I press space bar, you'll notice that the whole word moves to the next line instead of just the video part. So that's what you do. So the key there is control, shift, and then either space if you want a non-breaking space and control, shift, hyphen if you want a non-breaking hyphen. Now, let's speaking about hyphen. Let's just talk about the different types of hyphens that we get. So we know that that is a normal hyphen that you get that you use in your text. Now, there are a couple of other ones. There's an N dash and an M dash. Now, there's no hard, fast rules about when to use them, but th they are slightly longer than the others. So I'll show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt and then 0, 1, 5, zero on my keypad so alt zero one five zero on my keypad and that is an n dash it's slightly longer than your normal dash you'll see there okay so there we go now for the next one is going to be alt zero one five one so i'm going to do that on my, on my keypad alt zero one five one and there we go you can see that that one is slightly longer than the n dash and that is an example of an m dash so those are the different types of hyphens that you can get. Now you can actually get an N dash quite quickly without remembering the code. If for example, we wanted to put one over here, all you have to do is make sure that you've got two hyphens, but a space on either side. So there's a space, I'm gonna press hyphen twice and then press another space. Now it looks like it did nothing, but if I type a word like can and space, do you see that it converted that particular hyphen, those two hyphens, it converted it to an N dash. So that's another way of doing N dash. As I said, you press space, half and half and space. And then once you finish typing your next set of text and press N and press space, it will get the N dash. So those are your dash, N dash and M dash. So if you want to find where they are on your screen, for example, we've already shown you how to find the non-breaking space. If I press control shift space, we already showed you using this show hard, you can see those symbols. But if you want to find them and you don't know where they are on the screen, you can use your find and replace. So if you want to find something, so let's go to find replace, for example. And we want to find not a particular piece of text, but if you want to find more, you can actually find some special characters. So you can actually find an M dash and an N dash, okay, or a non-breaking hyphen or a non-breaking space. So if you want to search for them, maybe you don't know where they are, you can, I want to search for all the non-breaking spaces, please. So I want, that's the symbol for it. So find the next one and here you can see it's already found where it is. So if you're looking for where they are on the document um, and you don't know and you don't, you, it's a really long document, that's what I suggest that you do. So use the find replace or you can just use find 
because you're not going to replace it, but go look for the non-breaking space or non-breaking hyphen or, for example, the M dash or the N dash. So you can use any of these options there. So that's how you would find them. Are your friends not sure about these features? Well, then share this video with them. Tell them to subscribe and to like the channel. And you can go to our playlist and find more videos on Word and other topics that could interest you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.